Question two. The partially completed histogram and the partially completed table show the time to the nearest minute that a random sample of motorists were delayed by roadworks on a stretch of motorway. The actual question here says estimate the percentage of these motorists who were delayed by the roadworks for between 8.5 and 13.5 minutes. Okay, so for us to find that percentage, we're actually going to need to know the total number of motorists that are involved. At the moment, there are two gaps that we're going to need to fill. So here and here, we need to find those values. Using the histogram, I should be able to find the frequency density, which is going to lead to me being able to find the frequency. Firstly, something that a lot of people neglect. If we look here in between the first class, four to six, and the second class, seven to eight, these are not the actual class boundaries. There cannot be any gaps in a histogram, and the diagram shows us, actually, that that first class actually goes from 3.5 to 6.5 and those are the true class boundaries so we had a bit of a clue there that these are actually the values that we should be using as class boundaries and these are the ones that we should be using to calculate class width all right so now i've got those values in there um, i should be able to use the first bar as an indicator to what the frequency density will be my calculation for frequency density is those six motorists divided by a class width of three six divided by three gives me an answer of two. So I know my frequency density at this point for this particular bar would have been two. Okay, that's enough information to fill in the rest of this scale. Scale's complete. Can I use that to find these missing frequencies? So the second bar, to find its frequency, I'm gonna take the class width, which is going to be two. So that is a class width of two. I'm gonna take the class width, which is going to be two, and I'm gonna multiply it by the height, which is seven. Two times seven gives me 14. So the frequency here would have been 14, and we'll jump straight to that last class. The class width there is five, and the height is one, so the frequency must be five. All right, so now I actually do have all of the values there. I can find out how many motorists were involved altogether. Uh, a quick count gives us 96. There's 96 motorists altogether. Okay, and back to the question, I was asked what percentage are between 8.5 and 13.5. Thinking on the table, which of these need to be included? Well, this group starts at 8.5, so I want to include all of those. This group, this group will also be included, and only part of the next group is going to be included, but what part of the next group? Well, since I want to know up to 13.5, I'm just gonna quickly add that to the diagram. There's my 13.5. What fraction of the whole bar is this shaded part? Well, the width of this shaded part is one, whereas the width of the entire bar was three, so this is actually one third of that bar. So I'm going to need to find 17 plus 45 plus a third of that nine, and I wanna know what is that as a percentage of 96. So adding those together, I'm going to get 65. And so I'm looking 65 over 96 as a percentage, we'll use the calculator to do that and we're looking for 67.71%. So finding the frequency density, really thinking about what those class boundaries were going to be, and using those to find unknown areas, allowed us to be able to find out the amount of motorists that we were interested in, and therefore to find the percentage that responded to the question, and will get us all our marks.